Hi everyone, it's a new video tutorial for today and uh, I had been doing a lot of intense makeup, bright makeups and today I probably should do some more neutrals and some more wearable makeups so that's why I decided to look more girlish today and uh, let's start, I'm without makeup for now I will apply my foundation, my usual everyday routine which I do and I will back to you just in one second So I already prepared my face on my eyes. I apply concealer from NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and only this one and probably shape tape can uh, hold your eyeshadows pretty well but anyway for like more long wearing makeup I prefer to use my Art Deco eyeshadow base just because it's like third video which I'm doing for today and I just don't want to make my eyes more sensitive and ruin my skin that's why I prefer to do for now on concealer and for today we will do more simple makeup in eyeshadows technique only and for eyeshadows I will use this eye magic eyeshadows in these colors because I know that there are two colors from this brand and it's pretty cheap eyeshadows but very very nice I will use some of these colors like uh, mauve uh, colors and we will add some interesting color in the inner corner so you can repeat it at home without any problems and first of all I will grab this ivory color and apply it under my brow just like a light color for this tone and after all darker colors will just blend more easily after with my favorite flat fluffy brush this one is Barocca in number 188 I will put all products which I use and brushes also in uh, info box under this video and I want to use these two colors uh, for today makeup and let's start from the middle one and create our shape I apply it above my crease line and with the same color I'm working on my lid and I fill just my outer corner and it's very easy color to work with you will not put like dots you can blend it very easily and usually this color suits uh, to a lot of people for now on camera as I see it look pretty rosy or pretty like pinky but believe me in natural light it's everything look absolutely different same color I will just touch my under lash line always have like my natural deepness here and it looks on camera always like a dot and it's really make me nervous always but okay we will hide everything it's not so important and after with a smaller flat brush I will grab like a darker color and just intensify my outer corner
you also can see that for specific of my eye if I have like a deepness here my natural structure of the skin I usually do not work with a darker color in this zone exactly because in that case I will just intensify it so that's why I moved like an accent only in these two dots and do not go with a clean color like to outer corner in that case you can see that you can uh, open your eyes receive some deepness but do not make your like dropped uh, falling eyes more dropped so this is actually our shape and the base for any sort of your usual day makeup you can do it much more lighter you can do it much more intense you can do it in natural colors in mauve in more warmish it's just on you you can choose everything you want as for me i just want to give you a um, different ideas and inspiration what you can do in your usual life or in professional life also soft and down on these outer corners I will grab the same warmish highlighter and just apply it very carefully on the edges of my blending and you can see how easily everything moves into the skin and how soft it can look. So after I build my form or shape, I just have to choose what I want to do after. You can do like a matte in a corner, which will be very natural and not so much glowing. Uh, but as for me, I prefer to add some cream colors. And unfortunately, this very beautiful from NYX lingerie is... Uh, and unfortunately this one from NYX Lingerie, uh, as I know, is not produced anymore, but they had like a super beautiful colors. Uh, and this one is from England, so by fact I choose between these three colors. I'll show you now and uh, I will just apply it in a corner. It is the fastest way to receive very beautiful glowing uh, accent on your eyes. I will show you swatches just for you to have imagination how different this makeup could be in a lighter color, in softer color, in more natural one. So the first one will be cream color from England, it's number 15. I just want to show you swatches, it's very beautiful beigey color which is so so beautiful. Next one is from NYX Lingerie number 0 one and it's like a rosy um, bronze light color with a like just light pinkish undertone and probably I will choose this color but we will see and the last one will be number 02 also from NYX lingerie and this color was like a very popular for uh, bridal makeup it's like a light beigey rosy tone which is such a beautiful and I used to work with uh, this elastic color like really a lot on clients but as for me for now I do not want to have like very soft eyes so long story a long story short I will choose this second color and with synthetic brush I will apply it just in my inner corner and you will see everything I have to apply in inner corner my blueberry pencil because from my last video I have like a green color inside just to clean this waterline again in real life this color not look so like unhealthy reddish it's a very beautiful color which just helped me to intensify greenish tone from my eyes and one more stuff you can do you can add some liquid glitters this one is from Lamel it's very similar to Stila one so you can choose this one or Stila and uh, I will add some liquid glitters just in inner corners to make it more
I finished with my two sides and you can see how pretty this makeup is for me it's uh, very nice and beautiful evening makeup okay it's not like for every day but you always can stop just in muddy shadows and that's all um, I had like a crappy situations with mascara here but it's I do not think it's not visible it's so okay so uh, we have to finish with our lips and in my real life I usually do not apply any lipstick or lip gloss I just use like a lip balm but if I want to do some colors on my lips I use usually two colors first one is gel lip pencil from Lamel in number seven and probably I will use it for today and another uh, very beautiful color in number 313 from Cascade of Colors and this is also very beautiful or like a, a mouthy rosish uh, tone color but this one will be more natural and this is more me <laughs> here almost final look and uh, I know that I already applied pretty a lot of highlighters just because of video um, because if I will do like my natural amount of highlighter which I use like for every day it will not be it will not be visible at all and that's why I have to apply pretty a lot so camera can catch some sort of this glow and what I like to do in a final step for before photos I usually grab some of uh, Makeup Revolution uh, these hard highlighters this one in pinkish light pinkish color and I will grab and apply it in just on the highest point of my cheek to intensify this glow so on camera it will look just like boom We finished with our makeup, thank you for watching, thank you for comments, uh, I hope that you will catch this light inspiration for your own, uh, I'm glowing like a goo, but okay. I hope you will be inspired by this makeup and uh, it's uh, everything about imagination and everything about what intensity and which colors you want to see on yourself, all another is just in practice. Thank you for comments and subscribes, put thumbs up if you like this makeup and thank you for watching, this is my inspiration for today and that's all.